The properties of this alloy exhibit an unconventional and unique kinky nature. Greetings everyone. Today we will be delving into an intriguing subject in our video. It revolves around the remarkable findings of a group of researchers led by Robert Ritchie at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Their groundbreaking discovery involves an alloy that possesses an extraordinary level of toughness, surpassing even cryogenic steel. Known as the NB45-25 to Ti-15 HF15 alloy, it exhibits exceptional strength and toughness across a wide range of temperatures, including extreme conditions. The alloy's impressive resilience can be attributed to the presence of kink bands, which effectively hinder the propagation of cracks by diverting damage away from them. This highly promising alloy holds immense potential for future applications in high temperature environments, particularly in engines. Now, without any further delay, let us proceed with our enlightening discussion. In a collaborative effort between Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, Berkeley Lab, and UC Berkeley, led by Robert Ritchie, and in partnership with the teams led by Professors Duran Apellian at UC Irvine and Enrique Lavernia at Texas A&M University, a remarkable discovery was made regarding the alloy's unexpected characteristics. Through an analysis of the atomic structure, the researchers were able to determine the origins of these properties. The findings of their study were published in Science on April 11, 2024. The temperature at which fuel is burned plays a crucial role in determining the efficiency of converting heat to electricity or thrust. The higher the temperature, the more efficient the conversion. However, the challenge lies in finding structural materials that can withstand such high temperatures, explained David Cook, a PhD student in Ritchie's lab and the first author of the study. We have reached the limit of optimization with the materials currently available for high temperature applications, which is why there is a significant demand for innovative metallic materials. This alloy holds great promise in addressing this need. The focus of this study is an alloy belonging to a recently discovered category of metals, referred to as refractory high or medium entropy alloys, RHEAs, RMEAs. Commonly, alloys found in commercial and industrial settings consist of a primary metal combined with small amounts of other elements. However, RIAs and RMEAs are created by blending nearly equal proportions of metallic elements with exceptionally high melting points. This distinctive composition grants them extraordinary properties that scientists are currently in the process of uncovering. For a number of years, Ritchie's research team has been dedicated to the exploration of these alloys due to their potential applications in high temperature environments. According to Punit Kumar, a postdoctoral researcher in the group and co-corresponding author, their team has conducted previous research on RHEAs and RMEAs, revealing their exceptional strength but notably low fracture toughness. However, they were astounded when this particular alloy exhibited remarkably high toughness. As per Cook, the majority of RMEAs exhibit a fracture toughness below 10 MPAM, establishing them as some of the most fragile metals known. Cryogenic steels, designed to resist fracture, are approximately 20 times more resilient than these materials. However, the RMEA alloy consisting of niobium, tantalum, titanium and hafnium, NB45T25 Ti15 HF15, surpassed even the cryogenic steel, boasting a toughness over 25 times greater than typical RMEAs at ambient temperature. However, it's important to note that engines do not function under normal room temperature conditions. The researchers conducted tests to assess the durability and resilience of the engines at five different temperatures. Minus 196 degrees Celsius, equivalent to the temperature of liquid nitrogen. 25 degrees C, representing room temperature. 800 degrees C, 950 degrees C and 1200 degrees C. It is worth mentioning that the highest temperature tested is approximately one-fifth of the sun's surface temperature. Throughout a wide range of temperatures, the alloy exhibited exceptional strength with its highest levels in colder conditions and a slight decrease as the temperature increased. The fracture toughness, a measure of a material's ability to resist crack propagation, remained high at all temperatures. Most metallic alloys consist of a crystalline structure where atoms are arranged in repeating patterns. However, these crystals are not perfect and contain defects. One of the most significant defects is known as a dislocation, 
which is an incomplete plane of atoms within the crystal. When a metal is subjected to external forces, these dislocations move to accommodate the shape change. For instance, when an aluminum paper clip is bent, the movement of dislocations allows it to change shape accordingly. However, at lower temperatures, the movement of dislocations becomes more challenging, leading many materials to become brittle because dislocations are unable to move. This is precisely why the steel hull of the Titanic fractured upon impact with an iceberg. Contrary to the norm, the RMEA defies expectations by maintaining its integrity even at frigid temperatures as low as liquid nitrogen, 196 degrees C. While most elements and their alloys become brittle at high temperatures, some even up to 800 degrees C, this RMEA remains resilient. In order to comprehend the internal workings of the extraordinary metal, Andrew Miner, along with his team of co-investigators, examined the strained samples alongside unaltered control samples. They utilized advanced techniques such as four-dimensional scanning transmission electron microscopy, 4D STEM, and scanning transmission electron microscopy, STEM, at the National Center for Electron Microscopy, which is situated within Berkeley Lab's molecular foundry. The electron microscopy data presented a surprising discovery about the alloy's exceptional toughness, which is attributed to an unforeseen consequence of a rare defect known as a kink band. When subjected to external force, these kink bands form within the crystal structure, causing strips of the crystal to collapse and bend abruptly. The direction of bending in these strips amplifies the impact on dislocations, facilitating their movement with greater ease. This phenomenon, observed at the macro level, results in the material becoming more pliable, requiring less force for deformation. Previous research indicated that kink bands readily formed in RMEAs, leading the team to assume that this softening effect would diminish the material's toughness by facilitating crack propagation through the lattice. However, contrary to their expectations, this is not the case. According to Cook, our findings reveal a groundbreaking discovery. When a sharp crack exists between atoms, kink bands actively impede the spread of the crack by dispersing damage away from it, resulting in a remarkable increase in fracture toughness and preventing fracture. According to Ritchie, extensive research and testing are necessary before the NB45 to 25T15 HF15 alloy can be utilized in the construction of advanced aerospace components such as jet plane turbines or SpaceX rocket nozzles. Mechanical engineers, rightly so, demand a comprehensive comprehension of material performance before implementing them in practical applications. Nevertheless, this study suggests that the metal possesses promising capabilities for the development of next-generation engines. The team behind this study consists of David H. Cook, Punit Kumar, Madeline I. Payne, Calvin H. Belcher, Pedro Borges, Wen King Wang, Flynn Walsh, Zehao Li, Arun Devaraj, Mingwei Zhang, Mark Astor, Andrew M. Minor, Enrique J. Lavernia, Dirana Pelian, and Robert O. Ritchie. These scientists are affiliated with Berkeley Lab, UC Berkeley, Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, and UC Irvine. The Department of Energy, DOE Office of Science, provided the necessary funding for this research. The experimental and computational analysis took place at two DOE Office of Science user facilities, the Molecular Foundry and the National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.